Hello, my name is Sarah Miller Archie, and I'm a researcher with the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene's World Trade Center Health Registry, which is a program that tracks the physical and mental health of over 71,000 persons who were directly affected by the events of September 11th. Through long-term monitoring of persons exposed to the 9-11 disaster, we have discovered that a range of health conditions are linked to the attacks and their aftermath, including an increased risk of diabetes. We analyzed survey responses from over 36,000 members of the registry to understand the impact that 9-11 had on diabetes among those suffering from 9-11 related post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. We focus on respondents who reported having diabetes for the first time after they joined the registry. We found that enrollees who had PTSD at the time they joined the registry in 2003 to 2004 were 30% more likely to develop diabetes in the following six to eight years compared with people without PTSD. One possible explanation for our findings is that chronic stress reactions caused by PTSD can cause the body cells to become resistant to insulin, causing sugar to build up in the bloodstream. Another is that PTSD has been associated with unhealthy behaviors such as poor diet and physical inactivity both of which can increase one's risk of developing diabetes. We recommend that you discuss our study findings with your doctor. You can also tell others about the study so they can be in contact with their doctors if needed. We will continue studying the relationship between 9-11 exposure, PTSD, and new onset diabetes among registry enrollees. If you have any questions, please contact us.